welcome to Africa Express. Today we are going to be talking about um, Islamic religion and um, Ramadan. Recently the world had just finished celebrating um, Ramadan, it just ended. And most of us out there do not actually understand what happens during this month, this holy month of Ramadan. I have two Muslim scholars here with me today to educate us and enlighten us a bit about the Muslim religion and Ramadan. With me on the show today is um, Mr. Muhammad Bari, who is one of the religious lead, uh, leaders in, in our community here in Boston and also very active within the African community. Mr. Mohammed, you are welcome to Africa Express. Thank you for having me. We also have uh, with us uh, Imam Dr. Tala Eid. He is the Executive Director, Islamic Institute of Boston, Chaplain at Brandeis University, and Mass General Hospital. Imam, you are welcome to Africa Express today. Thanks for having me as well. Ramadan um, is a celebration that is celebrated all over the world by Muslims. A lot of people don't know. They hear Muslims are doing Ramadan. They absolutely have no idea what it is. What is Ramadan, Mr. Barry? Thank you, Ms. Uh, Blessing. Ramadan is one of the pillars of Islam. And uh, it is time that all Muslims world over fast. And with the fast, there are regulations and stipulations that one has to obey. It is time also to show self-restraint in avoidance of food, water, anything that has a desire. That is the purpose of Ramadan, but it is also the, the month that we celebrate the birthday of the Holy Quran. It was during the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed to our Prophet Muhammad, on whom be peace and blessings of Allah. And my learned Imam here could add. <laughs> well, um, thanks for, for having me and uh, I would like to congratulate you for, for this great achievement in trying to have this program and connect with the community. In, in fact, in, in addition to, of what Mr. Barry mentioned, I, I look at the month of Ramadan as, as a time of renewal of connection and renewal of relationship as the, the Muslim would, would try to renew his relationship with the Creator, with God. And then renewal of relationship with one another, tolerance, because the Prophet Muhammad says that, that if you have a dispute or a quarrel with, with a person, you, you do not intense the, the dispute. Rather, you say, I'm, I'm fasting. So it, it try to reconcile. Uh, this, this dispute, and re renewal of relationship with the international community, where the international community can see us, you know, at achieving great lessons by demonstrating uh, sincere uh, uh, abstention from uh, food and drink and, and observe the fast for a period of time of 16 hours or 17 hours. For our children, fasting has a great meaning. If our children manage to say no to food and drinks, 
during certain hours of the day, they will be able to say no to drugs, to alcohol. So, so this is how I look at the month of fasting, Ramadan. So if somebody is taking medication, can they take their medication? It, those who are sick, they are exempted. And those who are taking medication, they need to consult their doctor to make sure that fasting will not harm them. And then the doctor can tell them how to uh, relocate the time for taking the medication. Most people, as I see them, what they do when they wake up in the morning between 4 and 4.50 a.m., they try to take their medication. And, and uh, they are aware that fasting will not harm their situation. So they continue fasting until 7.30 or 7.45 p.m. And at that time, they continue with their medication and they have the whole night to do that as well. We'll take a short break and we'll come back to the discussion. <laughs> 